What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. The year's ending. So I kind of wanted to do a video about all of my favorite skincare products of 2020. I have very oily, dehydrated, acne prone skin and oily and dehydrated. That's kind of like a tricky combo. These are all the products that I've been just consistently buying um, over and over again and I will continue to buy them in 2021. With that being said, let's just get started. The first product I want to talk about is a Purito Centella Green Level Calming Toner. Don't have the physical bottle with me right now. After my second bottle, and it's a very big bottle. After my second bottle, I switched over to another toner, but I did not want to do this video without talking about that toner because that product seriously like was my gateway of trusting toners again. This is the first toner I purchased in 2020. I was going through a lot of skin issues. It was just a lot of redness, rosacea. I was very itchy acne, blackheads, it was just the worst. Previously, I strayed away from toners, um, not realizing I actually needed it, and that's because I just had so many problems. I I guess I like lost patience of, yeah, I just lost patience and just realized, like, you know what, I don't need toners, but I was wrong. Toner did a really good job in healing my skin. It has about, like, 10% centella, and all the ingredients are very healthy, animal cruelty-free, um, and it's a huge bottle. Went through two of those in a very long period of time. The texture is a little bit thicker than water. It's sort of like jelly-like, but it absorbs very, very well. A big thumbs up to this product because it costs less than $20 and the bottle is very big. really recommend this toner to anyone who's suffering from rosacea or redness or itchiness. Um, it did a really good job in hydrating my skin and just really calming it down. Next, I want to talk about my holy grail toner at the moment, which is the Tokto toner. I already talked about this in my round lap video go check it out i'm almost done with it it costs about like 17 dollars on amazon round lab has all the cleanest ingredients what's special about it is that it has urundo seawater which contains over 70 minerals which are just so nutritious for your skin it has generous amounts of hyaluronic acid and i noticed the difference in my skin if i don't apply this toner I tend to lose hydration throughout the day around like 4 p.m my skin will start getting a little flaky there are very few toners that work for my sensitive irritable skin but this really was oh, this really saved my life if you have oily dehydrated skin like me i would suggest this toner um it's so easy to layer on and i layer about like two three times before i jump into the serum i guess the only downside about this is that i go through this pretty quickly just wish the bottle was a little bit bigger all right, I know everyone talks about this, but I couldn't do this video without talking about it because this is the only cleanser that I've been using for the past two years. This is Crave Beauty's Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I talked about this in so many of my videos as well. And because my skin is so sensitive and irritable and just acne prone, um, this is perfect for me. It really nourishes the skin with all the amino acids and antioxidants that your skin needs. It has matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B5, and sodium PCA. It has all the healthiest ingredients. It has a very jelly-like texture. After I wash my face with this, my skin doesn't feel like it's ripping off. It's a problem if you like, after you wash your face, you feel like your skin is tight. That's not really a good sign, but this cleanser does a really good job in removing all the dirt, but like not making you feel like you ripped off your skin barrier. And that's what I also look for in cleansers and just any products in general. Um, I like to go for products that protect the skin barrier and this really does the job. It's $16 and I think it's very worth it um, considering how like generously sized this thing is. I know everyone talks about it so I, I don't think I need to do much convincing. This is the first serum I invested in in 2020 and this is the Purito Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. It's a very cute little size and I do go through it pretty quickly as well. It's $22. I talked about this in my other how I cleared my skin video. Um, but if you have oily dehydrated skin, rather than putting like a one thick cream on, um, on your skin, I think it's better to layer. Um, so I layer this on with another serum, especially during the winter time. It's very effective. So it has generous amounts of Centella Asiatica extract, which is an herb that just like I guess regenerates your skin and it really heals any wounds. Pretty life changing. It healed a lot of my acne scars and it's soothing for like people who have irritable skin like me. And it's $20 for this baby bottle. I'm gonna be buying more bottles of this, so just take my money. I recently incorporated this in my skincare routine. This is Skin and Labs Vitamin C Brightening Serum. 
I never really understood the point of vitamin C serums because I'm like, you know, I take my vitamin C's. Why do you have to put vitamin C's on your face? But now I do. My skin is extra glowy and dewy now and I really feel like I did a good job in just smoothening out my texture. I used to have a lot, a lot of bumps. Let me show you my skin up close. So this is my skin. I'm getting my period soon in a few days and usually this is the time where I break out the most and have a lot of redness. This really changed my skin texture. I really recommend it if you're looking for a vitamin C serum. It's about $22 on Amazon. I apply it every night and sometimes in the morning when my skin's feeling a little dull. It just gives that extra glow and just gives my skin life again. I love this product. It's my second bottle. I'm excited. Everyone raves about this as well, but she is so good. This is Paul's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is a reason why my acne isn't out of control. This regenerates your skin without the actual physical process of exfoliating your skin. Um, I really wake up with a new skin. <laughs> One thing I notice about this BHA is that when I do see an emerging pimple and I apply this, it like ripens the pimple a lot faster, which is what I want because you want to, you know, you, you got to take that out. Kind of got rid of a lot of my pores on my cheek area. And honestly, this is such a lifesaver, especially after a weekend of just binge eating and drinking. I apply this and I feel like my skin's new again. Um, I will be buying this forever and consistently because this has been consistently giving me good results. It's $30 on their website, but I really think it's worth it. I apply this about two, three times a week and a little goes a long way. And I guess the only downside about this is that it smells. It smells bad. This is Skin and Labs Dr. Troublous Metaseca Calming Cream. And this is also such a holy grail. I have proof. I bulk up on this. This is so good. It's $18 on Amazon. Um, it's very hydrating for oily and dry skin. It's so effective for people who have irritable, sensitive skin. It really calms the skin down. It's so moisturizing without leaving any like sticky residue. Uh, I guess the only downside about this is that the bottle is kind of small so I do go through it very quickly. I apply this day and night. I apply this after I put on my BHA. If you find your skin feeling dry throughout the day, even after you put on your um, your whole skincare routine in the morning, I still apply this and I don't get any extra pimples. It just really does a good job in soothing out my skin. Some key ingredients are centella, vitamin E, and panthenol. I think it's such a must-have product for anyone who has very sensitive like red skin and calming any of that skin flaring up. This is Innisfree's Abija Sika Balm. I've been applying this for a few years and I only like to apply this during the winter time because you know I have very oily skin. Feels greasy, but it's not. It really absorbs very well. It includes Bija Seed Oil from Jeju Island and Centella Asiatica. And it says 4X. That's a lot. So what's really good about this product is that it fights acne. So it's really good for people who have oily, acne-prone skin, which is me. Um, the Bija especially, it's supposed to soothe out and like just soothe um, pimples and any inflammation that you have. So I really recommend this product for anyone who's suffering from acne like me, but who also has oily skin. This is this is your baby, especially during the winter time. Second half of this year, I spent my time um, applying the Purito unscented Centella sunscreen, and I heard about the whole controversy, and I heard, heard about the whole scandal, and um, I kind of got freaked out. I reverted back to my old sunscreen, which is the True Care Non Nano Sunscreen SPF of 48. I guess the only downside about this is that it kind of leaves a white cast. This is actually a pretty decent sunscreen. It never breaks me out, and I think it does a good job in protecting my my skin from the sun so if you're looking for a sunscreen and you don't know where to start honestly this one a lot of people rave about this and it's pretty good i rotate between three face masks that are just like my ride or dies like if i had to pick three face masks to live with forever it'll be these three it's the innisfree bija sika mask as mentioned earlier bija does such a good job in attacking acne after i wear this the next day my skin like looks like it cleared up like any inflammations or any like emerging pimple like i swear to god it kind of just goes down i really recommend this face mask for anyone who's looking for a face mask that repairs your skin overnight this is so good okay the next one i'm going to talk about is the round labs birch juice face mask leaves my skin feeling very fresh 
hydrated and rejuvenated um, I apply this whenever I don't feel like going through my whole skincare routine um, And birch juice is this ingredient that like all the Koreans are crazy about um, It contains a lot of amino acids and antioxidants which are just good for skin regeneration And protects the skin barrier Last but not least the Tokdo mask from Round Lab. I talked about this in my Round Lab review video. This Tokdo mask is like next level. It has two mesh sheets that protect the actual face mask and the face mask is like this jelly-like texture and it just really sticks to the shape of your face. Most face masks like you have to kind of just like play around to like make it fit but this one just like really sticks on. Like a pack of 10 is about $30 so I would say it's kind of on the pricier side. This Tokdo mask includes ingredients such as coconut water and Urundo sea water, which I talked about. I always come out of a flight with three new pimples, but this one, I like apply this um, on the plane and it's actually so good. Yeah, I am that girl that, that puts on a face mask on the airplane. If I had to describe this face mask in one sentence, it would be, it revives my skin from the dead. Shout out to you, Yan. She always posted about this on her IG stories and her YouTube videos and I was like, I suffer from puffiness. I want to get that glow. So I like purchased this a few months ago and I've been rolling my face every single day. And I think this is one of the reasons why my acne is in good control. This is the ice roller. Two rollers. It comes with one like, I guess this is the ice one. It's gel. And you, it's frozen. And then you just kind of stick it on. And this is a steel. And I usually like to put it in like a Ziploc bag. And like... I put it away in the fridge. I usually roll my face for about 10 minutes after um, doing the whole skincare routine and honestly, it's like it, my skin gets like red the first like couple of minutes and then like 10 minutes later, my skin is like glowing. There's a lot of other benefits to enrolling your um, face with ice. It's supposed to like deep puff, especially when the night before you're eating lamia, this is perfect. Or if you like drank or ate salty foods the night before, this face roller is gonna be your lifesaver. Get rid of redness, um, get the blood circulation going. It's good. Thank you guys for getting to this part of the video. These are all the products that I've been just repurchasing and um, I don't feel bad about spending money on these products because they've been so effective. I feel like I haven't been this confident in my skin in so long, especially because beginning of 2020, I was suffering with a lot of skin problems and another reminder your skincare journey is not going to be linear some days you're going to have crappier skin than other days and honestly at the end of the day i think what's really important is how you feel internally even if you apply all the best products on your face if you're feeling stressed out like your body will react and it'll, it'll show on your face and also just drink a lot of water thank you for watching and i hope you guys found this video helpful if you have oily dehydrated skin like me i think i can put money down that at least one of these products will be a good hit for you i feel like skin care is something that's a long-term investment in yourself and it's always good to know like what you're applying on your face and if these ingredients are good or not um but yeah um please stay safe and healthy and i'll see you guys in the next year